So if yesterday's vlog was crap, uh, I edited it while I was having a couple of beers. This may have something to do with it. Job done. Anna and I are going to do some post Christmas shopping. And we're shopping for cutlery and plates. Sick. try and get some sunset action with the DJI Phantom. What have we named it, Hannah? Okay. We don't know yet. What do you want to name it? Well, Hannah and I just flew the drone on the port here. You can see there's water everywhere, literally everywhere around us. And the GPS wasn't working, the GPS mode, so I thought, oh shit, you know, the sun's going down. I thought I've got to get the, uh, the thing in the air. Anyway, it flew off to the point where I couldn't see it. Fortunately, I pressed the dial in the right direction and it came back, man. But there was like 10 seconds there where I thought I'd lost the drone. And Hannah just panicked, I panicked. It's pretty scary. Got one camera there, we've got another camera down there, and the sun's going down. What was wrong with it? Was it clean? good humans welcome to 2016 pretty much my last night of drinking would you say that Han? No. but uh, for a while anyway <laughs> in Geelong. It's got a bit of a uh, carnal, carnival atmosphere to it. Bro. Yeah. You're you're got, <laughs> be right. you got power, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. All right, sweet. If you don't go in a race to win it, you might as well stay at home. So, yeah. Um, it's definitely going to use this good training for nationals, but yeah. I think we'll uh, always give it 100%. Yeah. All right, cool. Good luck, man. Thank you.
So what happened, man? Uh, so probably about five minutes in, there was a crash on the second corner, and uh, pretty much five, six guys went down and wiped out the whole middle of the road. So you couldn't get around it, and then commissaires didn't let us take a lap out. So they didn't let you take a lap. Nah. So I was probably about. Uh, 50 metres behind the bunch for yep. a few laps and then yeah, that's all you can do really. Hey, there was a crash, you got caught up. Yeah. Why didn't you take a lap? Because I was able to weave through and then it broke apart and we were chasing back and the second crash happened again just as we came back on and then yeah. we weaved through. And... Oh well. Oh, it's fast. Yeah. Corners, I haven't really raced an old dog circuit before so. So you never... Just... You never raced the Bay Crits before? No, it's my first year of pretty much proper racing on the bike. Yeah, so yeah. The speed skating before that, and uh, yeah, it's pretty hard. You've got to accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake. So there was another crash on the corner just then. We've got about four riders having a lap out with 15 minutes to go. Good job, mate. How'd you go? Oh, it was good. Hard, uh, hard first race for the year. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Where, at what place did you get? Uh, I think I was around seventh or eighth in the end. Okay. We um, just tried to keep together for um, Brenton and um, Bernie ended up helping in the last lap and I chased down a few breaks in the last ten minutes. So just uh, yeah, great hit out for the start of the year and second's not a bad start. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we can get a one step further in the next couple of days. All right, awesome, man. Good luck over the next couple of days. Thank you very much. So Hannah and I are coming back from the Bay Crits in Geelong. If you're living overseas watching this, the Bay Crits are the most elite criteriums here in Australia. They always kick off the year, and it's a series of four, three to four races, I think. But yeah, fantastic race tonight. It was a hot dog circuit, very tough race, and um, a lot, of, a lot of good riders got spat out the back of the race, which was uh, to be expected. Hot dog circuits are very difficult circuits. If you're not in the top 20, 30% of the group, there's all sorts of things that can knock you out the back, like crashes, and it's just so, such a hard, hard thing to do to be sitting down the back. But anyway, it's been a long day. Hannah and I are heading home now. We've got about a 45 minute drive uh, to get home and uh, I will chat with you guys at the next crit tomorrow.